Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for another quick how-to guide. Today we're taking a look at Mantis. Her rotation is very simple to learn and if you are even halfway decent at intercepting you're going to find her very easy to play. She is very strong, feels made for quick fights against small to medium health pools, so I suspect that she is going to be an important attacker in both Battlegrounds and Alliance War for quite a while. Okay, let's start with the question that I see most often in comments on guides like these, and that is, does she need Awaken? For Mantis, the answer is absolutely no. And actually, the gameplay that you're going to see from me here in a second is all from an unduped rank 3. The dupe increases her utility, but has absolutely no effect whatsoever on her damage. With that being said, let's jump right in. You'll want to start out by doing a medium, at least one light, then dash back to inflict intimidate, then start doing light backdraft intercepts to build up your mixed emotion passives. Once you notice that infuriate is about to end, finish any combo with a fourth light to apply intimidate, and from here, hit into the defender's block as much as possible to gain more mixed emotion. Now if you're at 20, that's perfect, if not, you can repeat this cycle. Either way, you want to start building up to your special two. Once you're at the special two, you want to do a full combo ending with another light attack, and as soon as that combo is done, start charging your heavy. This puts your opponent to sleep while you build up a bunch of fury passives. When sleep is about to wear off, release your heavy, cancel into the special two for some big yellow numbers. Now using your special two in this way guarantees that each hit is going to be critical. So this Deadpool has about 160k health, but he also has a constant source of regen, so he does survive that special too. But in most fights, it's probably going to be over at this point. And what I'm doing now is just repeating the rotation, but settling for a lower amount of mixed emotion to finish him off. Okay, quickly let's review the rotation. Number one, do a medium and then one to three light attacks. Then dash back to apply your infuriate debuff, and then light backdraft repeatedly. This is going to build up your mixed emotions. Number two, use a light ending combo to apply your intimidate debuff, then hit into their block repeatedly, and again, this is going to apply those mixed emotions. It's important to note here that these first two steps are actually interchangeable. You can start with intimidate if it better suits your needs, or you can do exactly what's written here and start with infuriate. Either way, in step three, you want to build up to that special two. You can repeat steps one and two if you're not already at 20 mixed emotions once you are at 20 mixed emotions and you have your special two do a medium light 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 immediately start charging your heavy this is going to apply the sleep passive before the sleep expires release your heavy and then cancel into the special two for the big damage one note about step four here if your intimidate debuff is on cooldown stick with the four hit combo and then start charging your heavy if you have Intimidate available, you can apply it with your fourth light before charging. Now the Sleep passive is going to apply as soon as charging starts, so in either case there's really no danger of the defender countering you. Remember also that Sleep is not the same as Stun, so Mantis will be able to take full advantage of her rotation even against Stun Immune opponents. So I mentioned at the start of the video that I think Mantis is going to be an extremely effective war attacker. So I want to show you what she looks like with a power back boost. This is a Venom the Duck with 200k health. I have a 150% power back boost applied. You're going to see here that against this size health pool, the special 2 is actually going to give me 3 full bars of power right away. Which means I can then use my special 3 immediately and before the 10 fury passives expire, giving me an enormous attack boost for that special 3. Now if you play war in a high tier, you're probably going to be boosted anyway, which means that even with one of the small 100% power back boosts, the chances of you getting to your special 3 after a special 2 feels pretty high, maybe even guaranteed. And if you have an invulnerability boost as backup, you can safely tank a special 3 if yours doesn't finish the job. Your special 3 is going to give you a 100% tranquilized passive, which means you're going to be safe from any debuffs inflicted from the defender special 3, including a stun, as a result of tanking it. Of course, in this example, our special 3 kills Venom the Duck right away, but it's something to keep in mind if you end up using her for attack later on. That's going to do it for this guide, folks. If you enjoyed it and it helped you, please let me know in the comments below. And also, I would greatly appreciate if you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. As always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.